a center. Looking down here, through here, one can see if this is pretty much centered and that's really good enough. Okay, I went ahead and installed the mirror and then we need to now mount this here and then you see I went up from the spider which is smaller to a huge um, elliptical mirror uh, hoping that when I align these oops I didn't look at one thing oh, what's happening is I'm, I'm, I'll be blocking I'll be blocking the beam path here so this is out let's do something else I'm gonna use another method let's take it out of the mirror mount we're gonna directly mount these to 50-104 and then we're gonna grab it with the legs of the spider assembly so we're gonna basically make a bigger spider assembly. So I went ahead and installed the new uh, spider using the 50-104. I just added velvet washers here to, to allow the length to pull the plate 120 degrees apart three points and you're lucky these or it's just a good design <laughs> that uh, the, le the rods are good perfect uh, length okay so now what we can do we could secure this against the plate and then go from there seeing another issue here okay because these have certain angles those have certain angles orientation it ca I cannot control the rotation of the mirror so I have to take that out put another mount the continuous angle a plate you see all of these parts I mean optoform seems appears to have so many parts but in reality, they all find, you'll all find them to be useful somewhere. In this, at this point, it would be impossible. I mean, you don't have any other choice but be able to rotate this mirror while it's mounted against this plate. Okay, very good, that's one screw. Put it on the other side. Very good. Now this allows the mount to they allow the mirror mount to rotate, to adjust while it's sitting below this plate. It's too tight for the scriber and for the spider assembly to go through easily. So I'm retapping it as I can see some chips around. You see, this is nothing in Opto Mechanics. I mean, you see, the problem is nothing really is going to fit even best design it's not gonna fit what you do you keep at it I'm a good designer but uh, God is a much better designer so well, I'm trying to say the, the only good designer is God uh, there is no perfect design okay good all right here's the heat things rolling I'm gonna show you the screws in the back that uh, see I can find the screwdriver here are the screws so now we are using 50-351 to mount against the micro optic assembly and there we go so the eyepiece now is going to sit here and we have this huge um, secondary mirror okay now watch this 
the eyepiece from up here if I draw a line straight down it has to hit the center of that in here I think you're set we are in perfect alignment and we are ready to continue the experiment well there is my point source about 30 feet away as we are trying to simulate the interferometer being looking at the star it shows actually a glimpse of what astronomers go through many dark evenings looking at the star right now I am some I am seeing some fringes here I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to tweak this thing and you can see the two beams here really um, like I said before I don't want to just say this is great we did it um, uh, in experiments you just uh, learn from what you see you don't see what you want to see <laughs> and in this case I think what we are looking at is uh, some aberrations instead of fringes I'm not I'm not satisfied with this um, result that we are seeing fringes here there are fringes but I think these are diffractions one one way to prove that is I mean if I tilt one of the mirrors you're gonna see two same images that means each image on its own is able to produce uh, fringes that that's basically uh, I'm gonna cover one arm and cover the other to show you what the contribution of each arm is I'm not gonna say we have you know reached a final result here but I'm, I'm glad we did the experiment together and I showed you how um, I construct something with I would be constructing something with optical but again um, this experiment was show the process of putting something uh, together with optoform as you saw I went different directions and I took it apart again and put it back again and this is really the reality of optomechanics or any other experiment you need to make sure you do it right and many times people uh, look at my drawings and say wow you, you draw very well or they haven't seen how many times I have erased the drawing and redrawn it to make it right. So this is it folks. We did put this experiment together and I certainly enjoyed it. I hope you have enjoyed it too. I remember my uh, many people I got acquainted with like um, Eleanor Helene who spent most of her life uh, looking for uh, asteroids and Jim Westfall, the Hubble telescopes, Whitefield planetary cameras, first uh, principal investigator that spent many of his evenings at um, Palomar Observatory.